boys, stop it. Hello and welcome or welcome back. If you're returning, my name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, uh, obscure video games, art or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, uh, don't forget to hit that like button because that super helps us out. He's reached a decision, oh boy. I must ask that you not breathe a word of this to any of the others at the Rising Stones, especially Flamin. Flamin? <laughs> I will brief Tataru on what we have learned, as well as Uriange. He may have insight into what the word told us. As for you, Burr, after all you have done, I would say you have earned a rest. Costa del Sol? <laughs> may have been? <laughs> ah, but speaking of well-earned rewards, I received a missive from Sir Emmerich while you were away. It would seem he is planning a ceremony of some sort. I would like you to attend. He did not divulge the details, preferring instead to explain in person. Mayhap you should pay him a visit. I don't know about this. I don't I don't like ceremonies or celebrations after the last one we attended. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh yeah, no. You know what? No, yeah. The congregation of our knights most heavenly back to snowing here. It was so nice that one day where it was bright and sunny. Apparently, that's just not ever gonna happen again. It's about time, though, they recognized me, but I'm still, I don't know, just don't like the sound of it all. <laughs> A pleasure to see you again, my friend. I take it you received our invitation. Good, good. You of all people should be present. No way, her face looks just as wary as I feel. <laughs> when the true brothers of the faith seized control of the vault, I feared the worst. Yet in adversity were we blessed with the promise of peace between man and dragon through Vidofnia's timely rescue of an innocent child. Timely, I say, though miraculous or providential might better describe the event. The gods themselves could not have devised a more fitting symbol of hope. Needless to say, we could scarce let such an opportunity pass us by. Which is why I set about making formal arrangements for a peace conference between our peoples. You and yours have done more to bring us together than any, and it is only right that you attend. But I confess that is not the only reason I would be glad to have you there. Given Nidhogg's implacable opposition to the peace, it is possible that he and his followers may attempt to disrupt proceedings, in which event, your presence would be a comfort to all in attendance. Aha. I knew it. At Pray least he's prepared. I have no wish to invite the worm's ire. But if our fractured nation is to heal, if we are to move forward as a people united, then we must do whatever is necessary to bring about lasting change. It is nothing. It is nothing. Lucia cautioned me against giving vent to my passions, lest my wounds reopen. It has not been easy reaching out to our opponents in Ishgard, many of whom sympathized with the actions of the true brothers. But in so doing, we have limited the influence of the zealots. The people are ready, my friend. This conference must go ahead. I knew you would understand. The conference will take place on the border of Ishgardian and Dravanian territory in Falcon's Nest. Lucia is there seeing to the final preparations even as we speak. Pray join her at your earliest convenience. It would not do for the guest of honor to arrive late after all. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A drink. We should make time for one. Once the conference is concluded, I mean. By my reckoning, it is long overdue. Good 
the nods. <laughs> So sad, though. <sighs> this game is horrible. It's making, like, I have no optimism for anything that is going to happen. You seem unhappy. I like that. The Lord Commander said you would come, Burr. As you can see, preparations for the conference are proceeding apace. Mark well the curtain above. It conceals a relief that will be unveiled during the conference. The Masons labor day and night to see it finished on schedule. Sir Emmerich wanted a symbol which would endure long after this conference is concluded. I think he will be pleased with the result. Twas not my war, but I made it mine, and to see it draw closer to a resolution fills me with a strange hope. His faith is infectious, is it not? His certainty that we can be better than we are. Forgive me. I am rambling. You must be tired from your journey. Go rest. I will not keep you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looking for something to do? If you would rather not take a rest, then why not take a walk around Falcon's Nest? Make your presence known to the people and so forth. In addition to those who have come from a bar wide to attend the ceremony, you may meet Lords Arturel and Eminem, who have graciously volunteered their services. They should be glad to see you. Now, if you would excuse me, I must needs, must needs return to my duties. Speak with the people. Uh, you look like a person. Red wall. <laughs> I am glad to see that the rumors were true. Well met, Mistress Lynn. I fear not. I have no intention of begging your aid with this or that. Everything appears to be in order. Well, thank the Twelve. My only lingering concern is that one of the convictors might not have been informed of our plans. As I recall, Vinof Vinofner may pass directly over their encampment. The last thing we need is a glory-seeking nobleman attempting to slay a Dravidian ambassador to a peace conference. Let's hope they don't do it! <laughs> Low board. Do you know when everything's set to begin? I wasn't sure how many might come, so I thought it best to come early and find a spot with a great view. When I heard that Sir Emmerich was planning to make a speech, I knew I couldn't miss it. I mean, the man risked his own neck to rescue those hostages. How often do we get heroes like that in this day and age? And he's more than a fighter, too. He's a thinker, he is. He got, he's got plans to better our lives, to change things, and he'll do it by the fury. Me and my friends and family, we all believe he can do it. You gotta do what? I gotta believe! Bloody excited, isn't it? Not just peace with the dragons, but with all them heretics besides. Don't misunderstand, we've all got a healthy fear of being bathed in dragon fire. That being said, the heretics did far more to hinder our efforts here in the past. So, hearing that we're close to reconciliation comes as a great relief. Hello! How much has changed since we fought alongside each other in the vault? If you had told me then that we would soon be hosting a peace conference, I would have thought you were naive fool. Yet yeah, here we are, preparing to make that fantasy a reality. Ha! And here I am, laboring to make it so. You're a changed man. But not to hell, if I may. Certainly, First Commander, I may be of service. Some of the convictors are refusing to stand down. The majority were willing to do so, but a small party have instead pledged to engage any Dravidians bound for Falcon's Nest. Fury, take me. They would defy Sir Emmerich's com commands? If they dare attack Vinofner, it will not come to that. But to see that it does not, we must needs hasten to their encampment. They should be far more reluctant to oppose us were our Lord of House Fortop present. I understand completely. Let us depart at once. But all. But as we do, I must ask, would you look after Eminem while I am away? <laughs> as you know, he has ever been an impulsive, changeable child, but recently he seems to have been suffering from a bout of melancholy. I thought to lift his spirits by having him assist with guard duty, a simple but honorable charge, unlikely to expose him to danger given the presence of so many other knights. Alas, he has taken no interest, and I fear he may abandon his post in my absence. All I ask is that you keep an eye on him until I return. Exhausting, though that may be. Thank you, my friend. I promise we will not be long. Gotta go babysit. 
A warrior of light's job is never done. I need only but turn around. I'm rather busy a few moment, old girl, guarding this tavern, as it were. Oh, I see now. Arturon thought I might be derelict in my duties, eh? The nerve of my brother to question my dedication. But since you are here, mayhap I can put you to proper use. The wayside beyond wa the walls must be kept safe for travelers, yet I have been forbidden from leaving Falcon's Nest. It wouldn't do for our esteemed guests to be devoured by wolves, oh no. Yet that is precisely what will happen if we do not call the roaming packs. Your map, if I may. Right there. Those are the points our scouts marked for patrol. I'll leave you to it, old girl. Come, Hunterit. I must return to my rounds. Oh dear, do be careful, my lady. A few minutes later. Wolves, Bane, it pleases me to inform you that I have completed my rounds and that all is well in Falcon's us. Oh, and there was a grizzled fellow looking for you. You know the one who made that arsonist confess? Clever, that. That crit, was it? He was asking after you. Anyway, once I noticed the garish weapons he was sporting, I deemed it a waste to leave him be. I dispatched him to an area I neglected to mark on your map. Yes, this one. If you hurry, he might still be there. <sighs> what the heck? Uh. Fancy meeting you here, bruh. Twas fortunate I came when I did. These two would not have fared well against the wolves on their own. The young lord wasted no time taking advantage of you, did he? And me, I suppose. Let us return to Falcon's Nest then and see what other thrilling tasks he may have for us. That's it. That's all I had to do! <laughs> oh my gosh. And there they are, a pair of gallant heroes if I ever saw them. Comrades in arms re reunited at last. By your selfless sacrifice, have you guaranteed the safety of our many guests? On behalf of Ishgard, I thank you both. And with that, there is not left to do but to enjoy our well-earned respite. Oh, and this should, of course, go without saying. But let's keep these last few favors between us, yes? Arturel wouldn't understand. <laughs> what the heck? Now we're keeping secrets. <laughs> right then, the first floor of those barracks has been converted into a tavern for the duration of the conference. Why don't you go and have something to eat? For once, the suggestion with which I agree. Go ahead, Burr. I will join you in on. Time for a feast. I should have had her take her helm off, at least. But it is a cool helmet, but still. Welcome, welcome! Find yourself an empty seat and I'll be with you in a moment. Cold out, isn't it? Here, a mug on the house. Let's get some color back in them cheeks. Oh, that's just my complexion. I'm naturally purple. <laughs> Freed food will be a bit longer than usual. We've got a lot of hungry folk to feed, what with the conference and all. Oh, so many people with cause to celebrate. To think there could be peace in our time, after all them years of fighting. When I heard about the conference, I knew I had to come. I knew I had to be here, to do my bit. My husband, he... He died fighting the dragons, you see. And here we are, about to break bread with him. These things are getting worse. She really needs to get you checked out. Right, you look tired. tired. <gasps> Reckon, Reckon you could do a good long rest? rest? Uh oh. Wait, did they put something in my drink? Ah, uh, hamburgers! After all you've, you've done, done, I, I say you're dead. dead. Oh my gosh. 
Seriously. This was never your fight. I don't even know what to say. Ah! I knew it! We shouldn't have come! <laughs> My son. They... They told me he walks in Halone's halls. Him and the rest of his unit. They told me the same. I expect they think it's comforting. Every time I come, I cry. I cannot bear to remember, but to forget would be a thousand times worse. Yet that is what they would have us do. Accept this truth for the sake of peace. Bury the past and look to the future. But he was my future. My flesh and blood. My heart. Is this it? Are we the only ones with the courage to oppose this madness? Cowards, a lot of them. They think only of the prize, of the peace Sir Emmerich promises them. They know in their hearts it's a lie, but they go along with it anyway, desperate fools. But not I. Not I! I see the worm that killed my brother in my dreams every night, and I will not rest until he lies broken at my feet. Him and every last one of his accursed kin. All this nonsense about kings of eld, as if I care what they did or didn't do, makes no difference to me and mine. Have the dragons sued for peace in a thousand years? Are they bollocks? These people are really angry. It's a bloody ruse, is what it is, and Sir Emmerich and the rest of them bloody fallen for it. Ugh, I mean, I can't blame them. Because it does seem weird. <laughs> but, ah. Uh... But what can we do? They believe, and naught we can say will ever change their minds. Whether we like it or not, man and dragon will come together at Falcon's Nest, and all will be forgiven. Forgiven and forgotten. No. I will not let that happen. Oh. They will remember the true face of the enemy. I will show it to them. And we will rise up against them once more. Hey! Hey! This is no time for napping. Do you have your wits about you? Good. Come with me. We have a crisis on our hands. Everybody just ran over her? Like, nobody even moved her to the side? purple hair hear me brothers and sisters do not be fooled by the honeyed words of the Dravarnians 
The peace they promise is but a prelude to slaughter. Remember your husbands and wives never returned from war. Your children torn apart by fang and claw. All your loved ones show no mercy. Does not your heart cry out for vengeance? Your blood boil at the injustice. Remember the face of your enemy, brothers and sisters. Remember it and strike back. You there, don't just stand around gawping. Do something, man. Stop her. Yes, yes, my lord. The true nature of the high-born. With lies and deception, they lead us to our doom. And dare we raise our voices in dissent? Death is our reward. Oh my gosh, that was that good. This is the choice they have given us, brothers and sisters. Death by dragon's fang, or death by nobleman's command. Death to all we hold dear. I spit on your choices, nobleman! You will take no more from me! No more! No more! <laughs> what have you done? I, I, I only did as you ordered, my lord! Yeah, hold up. Oh, bro. I gave no such order. I, I did not. I I never meant for anyone to. This is so, so depressing. Oh my god. <laughs> Told you. We were hit being right all the time. I dare say that could not have played out any worse. Given that the first commander and Lord Arturel are not here to take control of the situation, I spoke with the messenger who said that they would be returning shortly, but until they do, naught will be done. Lord Ebenel has retreated to the barracks and is refusing to speak to anyone. Therefore, it falls to us to ensure that order has been fully restored. Come, let us walk the streets and speak with the people. The people, let us speak with them. Hello, person. Uh, are you just a normal people? I am also a fellow normal people. <laughs> My wife and I fell while fleeing with the others at first. The Terrosians tended to our bruises afterwards. Uh, those mad fools have ruined everything. For what? We're wrong to resort to violence, but when I heard her speak, her words were as a dagger in my heart. Who are we to decide that enough is enough? That their calls for justice can ever be answered? Will this be the end of it, or will there be others like them and their true brothers? I do not want to bear steel against my kinsmen ever again. I do not know if I even can. I would heard the rumors that the young lord was a drunken fool. What imbecile thought it would be a good idea to ha let him have the run of Falcon's Nest? Well, I say him and Sir Eric take their bloody change and shove it up their arses. I'll not be taken in by that rot again. Well, what say you? So the violence is past, but the people are far from recovered. That is to be expected. For the moment, it appears that no innocents were harmed by the guards. The blame for all casualties can be placed squarely upon the protesters. Nevertheless, the people will not soon forget the image of a young lordling ordering the public execution of an unarmed protester, one whose words resonated with the hearts of many. After all, who among us has not lost loved ones? Lord Arturel and the first commander should have returned by now. To the tavern, then. The first order of business will be to speak with Lord Evelyn, and I somehow doubt that he has moved with an ilm since last we saw him. Or... My apologies, Burr. I bear full responsibility for this debacle. There will be time for that later. I, for one, am more concerned about picking up the pieces. What do we know? 
According to initial reports, the protest was orchestrated by the young woman whom Lord Emmeline ordered shot. She and her conspirators infiltrated Falcons thus posing as servants and guests. Several were taken alive. Others resisted and were struck down. Still others took their own lives. Our forces suffered casualties as well, but by the grace of the Fury, no civilians were seriously injured. Still more remarkably, the ringleader yet lives, for the time being at least. The Cherusians are doing what they can for her, but she may not live through the night. Given their impeccable timing, it is like that the convictors who drew us away from the hamlet were in league with the protesters. Accordingly, we have detained them for questioning. <sighs> I'll be sworn that these villains spent as much effort plotting the failure of this peace conference as we did its success. Well, if the mood of the hamlet is any indication, theirs have been the more fruitful labors. In the wake of the protests, the people seem disillusioned. That's a good word. <laughs> you spoke with them then. I see. Sir Emmerich placed his trust to me. It will be difficult to explain what has happened here. Remember how far we have come, First Commander. The people's faith may be shaken, but we convince them before we'll do so again. If we can but find a means to remind them, to show them once more the promise that change holds for all, then this tragedy too shall pass into the past. We must pray that you are right. Nevertheless, for the time being, I have no choice but to suspend the peace conference pending Sir Emmerich's final decision. Under the circumstances, I cannot leave Falcons thus, nor will you deliver my report to the Lord Commander in my stead. Get up, Emmeline. You're going with her. Go on without me. I was not asking. You'll answer for your actions in person, is that clear? Yes, my lord. Come, Hutterbridge. Your man servant is not here. In fact, I have not seen him for some time. Oh no. Hutterbridge? Hutterbridge! I could have sworn he was. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, what? No, no! What have they done to you? Onowa! Onowa! Is that you, my lord? You... you seem rather flustered. Because of you, you imbecile! What in the seven hells happened to you? My... My apologies. Some few of the guests expressed a wish to leave, and I implored them to stay. Oh. <laughs> it would seem they took issue with my request. Oh, gods forgive me. If I had only been more careful with my words. D do not blame yourself, my lord. I know. I know that you and your brother have Ishgard's best interests at heart. That poor woman. She lives in the past, clinging to the memories of the lost. But the future holds so much promise, so much joy. And you, you know that better than any. Calm yourself. The boy will live. But it's imperative we get him inside and into the care of a Kairujin without delay. Oh, we were so close! Why does it all have to fall to pieces? Don't they want to live in peace? Don't they want to be happy? We all want the same thing! And still, still, it falls to pieces! Tell me, what, what was I supposed to do? Hm? Someone, anyone, tell me what was I supposed to do? That was, it was really a tough call. I don't know. Not that, though. Uh-oh. Stop looking to others. 
You make your choice and you live with the consequences. Rude. But yes. And what would you know about consequences? You who always know just what to say and just what to do. Your every deed is greeted with a round of applause. Boys, stop it. You know nothing about me. I have fought tooth and nail for the people I hold dear. Done everything in my power to save them and I have failed learn to live with it I have okay so this quest is miserable I may have overreacted. What? You don't say. But it needed to be done. He is becoming hysterical. I understand the desire to look for reasons. For excuses. To convince yourself you had no choice. But the past is the past and there is naught to be gained for reliving your mistakes. I know this. I know this. But he. I have no desire to wait for the Lord Link to emerge from his puddle of self-pity. We have important matters to attend to in Ishgard. Hello, my men. Word of the demonstration and its resolution outstripped you, Burr. Every man, woman, and child of Ishgard has heard the tale. Tis rumored that my youngest lack of judgment was to blame. Of course, such stories are prone to exaggeration. What exactly came to pass? I see. So that is the truth of it. Regardless of his intent, the result is undeniable. He has furthered the cause of these misguided few who cannot let go of the past. In an instant, the delicate peace we were poised to forge is once more beyond us. To dwell so deeply on the war, the vengeance it begets, only for that too to be taken away. Is it any wonder that they were left bereft? But what was this sacrifice? Have we not to show for our suffering? I thought peace is sufficient salve, but mayhap I was mistaken. We are warriors, Lord Edma, and ours is a nation built on centuries of warfare. Right or wrong, this is who we are, and we deny it at our peril. To hold on to the past without being beholden to it. Aye, we must needs find a way to honor the sacrifice of our forefathers without glorifying it in their excesses. A difficult path to be sure. We dare not deny the scars which mar our nation's soul, lest we spur other disillusioned souls to retrace them. But, as you say, we dare not revel in past glories either, for they are tainted all. A clear, unambiguous enemy, and an undeniably righteous cause. Tis a bitter reflection, but lies though they were, they did long serve to unite us. No truth will ever serve as well, I fear, yet we are not without options. At our last meeting, a proposal was tabled by the other members of the Aorzean Alliance for joint military exercises to strengthen the ties between our nations and test our readiness to meet with a common threat. I had thought to delay these exercises until after the peace conference, but mayhap a grand melee would be just the thing to lift our beleaguered spirits. Better still, an occasion for the Temple Knights and the Watch to take the field as allies. A unified Ishgardian force filled with men and women from all walks of life, which would stand against a coalition of the Allied Nations' finest. Hosted by Ishgard in the shadow of the Gates of Judgment, a victory under such circumstances would serve as a reaffirmation, nay, a declaration to all and sundry that we are as strong and united as ever. Such a victory would do much to fan the flames of patriotism, it is true. But if we should be defeated, though, even to hold our own against the cream of three nations might be presented as a triumph. Very well, you may count on my support for what little it is worth. However, I have a request. I would have my son, Eminem take part in the Grand Melee. 
By his deeds has he brought shame upon Ishkar, and so by his deeds I would have him bring our nation honor. As you wish, my lord. If that is his desire, then it shall be so. Now then, we have no time to lose. Burr, would you be so kind as to deliver my instructions to Lucia? I shall write to the Alliance leaders at once and begin making arrangements for the Grand Melee. Should you chance to see my son, pray inform him of his duty. If he has not already returned, he will soon enough, making every effort to avoid me. God. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.